Hello and welcome to this examination of Founders Panther Cub, and we'll see if anybody else wants to join. Porter with vanilla extract and maple syrup aged in bourbon barrels. Barrel aged. And I think this was originally part of another series, but um, it wasn't widely available, so it's been widely available in 2021. First quarter of 2021. You're the first. So we'll look at their website. Oh, you not had Panther Cub? It's 9.2% alcohol. Uh, I'm going to do a screen share. Thirty international bitterness units. Gets a ninety-nine on rate beer. February to April is the availability, so you sh should still be able to find it on Numa Therns here, which is a craft beer outlet. They specialize in craft beer more than any of the other stores around here. Win Dixie, Walmart, Food for Less. They do sell craft beer, but they don't sell much of it. So there's comes in draft and a four pack. I haven't seen it on draft, but I don't go to a lot of bars. I'm going to start. I need to start going to bars more. I don't need to, you know what I'm saying? To get more involved in the bar room culture, uh, which would probably be a bad thing, right? But no, it's probably not bad. If it's bad, leave. Don't let it fool you. Look what it says. Don't let it fool you. This kitty has claws maple syrup and vanilla extract and age in the finest bourbon barrels uh i don't know who's now founder's been around for 24 years i don't know who's bourbon barrels heaven hill i think maybe uh well, the head was about to overflow it. So you get a thick, creamy, beige head and a dark brown appearance. Nearly black, but not quite if the good light hits it. Okay. Now, people ask me oftentimes, uh, how many beers do you drink a week? No, they usually say, how many do you drink a day? But I don't gauge it by the dead, gauge it by the week. It usually averages to 22 12-ounce beers a week of whatever ABV. 22 a week. Well, there's seven days in a week. Three times seven is 21. So that's three a day plus an extra one. On occasion, do I allow myself to go to 24 a week? Yes, today is an ex example. Uh, now, last week, I, I drank exactly 24 beers, <laughs> exactly 22. But then my friend David wanted to review Ballantine Scotch, a famous Scotch whiskey, the regular Ballantine. And I said, oh, well, OK. And um, I counted that as number 23. I said, that's not too much. I mean, it was only we're only reviewing that much of the Scotch, but it was very good, better than he was saying, and he had to admit, it's really better than I was saying. And I, I didn't know what to expect, uh, but I was pleased. And I could see that Ballantine has a lot of potential, like the base model, and then the better one, the better one, the better one, the better one. And then you get up to like $300 bottles from Shiva's Brothers. But yeah, I'm really strict about it. So if I get to 24, I just don't drink anything. I just drink water. I say, well... Uh, tomorrow will arrive, you know, and so uh, I just will wait till the next day. And, uh, and you know, it's Saturday, if I say, okay, it's, I hit 24, then that's it. So I'll shut down and then here comes Sunday and on to the next round. So um, naturally it takes self-control, takes discipline, but uh, that's how I got down to 145 pounds. 
lost over 30 pounds of excess weight, self-control, discipline. Uh, it takes practice, I guess. It takes some kind of willpower. <laughs> uh, but I did my blood pressure last week, and it was 119 over 63. So it's been been uh, hanging around there, like 112 over 68, 113 over 62, whatever, 68. You know, so, I mean, it, it, somebody told me that's really good, you know. So um, let's see. If you drank 22 beers a week times 52 weeks, that's 11, 1144 beers a year, but you know, sometimes I go over 22. So let's say and this is probably not it. Let's say 20 times I went over, plus 20. I don't believe it's that much, but 1164 divided by 365. <laughs> three three beers a day. So even no matter how, how you play it, it's averaging to three a day. So I don't. Let's say 20, let's go to the extreme, 24 times 52, divided by 365, 3.4 a day, still not four a day. Um, yeah, so um, now you could say, well, how do we know you're not drinking all 12% alcohol beers, you know? Well, I mean, obviously I'm not. Look at what I reviewed. You know, I got a lot out of 3.2. I've got... What do I have in the fridge? Miller Genuine Draft, 4.7. Oh, wow, really high, right? So, yeah, it should be easy to find in Michigan. If we're getting in Louisiana, it's not counting the taste challenges. It's just counting the beers. So, explain that. Cheers, Ron. Hit him with the hind. The hind. Thank you, FD. Panther Cub. Yeah, so it's it's new to the market. It's really dynamite. We're going to talk about it more instead of talking about me drinking. Um, yeah, so the whiskey taste challenges, that's one a day. It averages to one a day. You say, well, that's 365 a year. Oh, well, you know, okay. Go look at the Jefferson's TV show. They drink and mix drinks all day long in the whole show. But, um, uh, and Maud, look at them. But, um, I mean, we talk about a little bit of scotch here and a little bit in the other glass. And then a, a little bit of wine with lunch. And I mean a little bit. I'm talking about like literally I pour the glass and it's like that much. So we're talking about two ounces just from our fruit. <laughs> but um, you could say, oh, you cheat. I know you cheat. There's more to it. There is really isn't more to it. I would admit it if there was. I drink coffee in the morning, every morning, three cups. If I go to work, I'll drink two more during the day. Um, I drink water, really, milk. Uh, I, I mean, if I did drink more than that, I would tell you. I would say, oh, yeah, I drink all this liquor. You know? I don't want to waste that liquor. Um, all these taste challenges, I have them all planned out. I have them literally planned out for months. And that's the truth. And people like to watch those. Do a lot of people like to watch them? Yeah, not a lot of people. I mean, you get about 20 people watching each one, sometimes 100. But sometimes 10 if it's some obscure whiskeys or rum. But uh, it's pretty fun. And uh, it really helps to develop my ability to tell them apart. And I get troubled sometimes, like I did the uh, Doohans versus Bush Mills Black this morning. I thought that would be just money in the bank, you know, easiest thing in the world. Oh, couldn't tell them apart. I was so troubled. You say, it's what you ate. No, I, I ate normal food. So I don't think that's a, um, really a variable. It just, I couldn't tell them apart. I could not tell them apart. I didn't know what to do about it. So I just had to go with what happened. And that's the risk of a blind taste test. I just tried Coors Pure 
and Tecate Alta. Tecate Alta. Hmm. Philip Cool. I will try those, but I'm not buying a whole 12 pack. If I can get a single, and I'm thinking maybe at the convenience stores, gas stations, I'll have the 24 ounce singles. Yeah, I'll get those for sure without any kind of hesitation. I do drink 365 a year. Right. I just do it like at a slow roll. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's nerdy in a way. Like people say, you're no fun, you know, because it'll be like, now Dawn Buster's at, well, obviously Dawn. 8 a.m. Now we do the first beer. Then with lunch, about two ounces of wine. Now it's one o'clock. We'll do the second beer. It's three o'clock. We'll do the third beer. It's five o'clock. We'll do the fourth. And in today, in this case, the fifth. But um, and that's it. So this people will tell me, oh, I was up all night drinking and I got so ill and I'm feeling terrible. Well, I'm I'm I just I in a few minutes I'm gonna go lay down and start watching a S Southeastern Conference baseball game, Georgia baseball versus um well whoever they're playing, I don't care who they're playing, I just watch them, you know. But um Now, I like to do it regimented, okay? So you might be wild and crazy guys, two wild and crazy guys, you know. That's your business. So I like to regiment it. I'll be sitting there thinking, what is my game plan for the whiskeys, the rum, the gin, the tequila, and then all the beers? I like to do it that way. I've got some craft beers in the fridge that I'm going to bring out. I did a review today of Dogfish Head 90-Minute IPA. Going to post that in a few days. It was fabulous, as you know. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Yeah, I don't care either, but some people like really concerned about it for some reason. Maybe they... Maybe they do it too much. <laughs> yeah, I don't see too many blind taste tests. It's rare. Right. I mean, we over a 24-hour period, we talk about three beers. Oh, wow. You know, Lucky Streak. No, I haven't, unfortunately. I know that's an Anheuser-Busch, but it's very regional. There is a softball game on TV today, but I don't think I'm going to watch it. I do believe that's the case, Dixie Bass Man. It's a lot of jealousy involved, and I'm sorry. I'm not jealous of other people, and that's the truth. I'm not jealous of other people. When I was younger, maybe, of course, when you're younger, you, you have a less developed ability to think in a way. Oh, no. Hold on a minute. Hello? Hey, I'm gonna call you back. I'm doing a live, I'm doing a live review. Yes. Not today, but soon, why? Oh, ha, ha, I forgot 420. Well, right, but I forgot about that. So, no, it's going to be. No, I can't. It's because it's scheduled to be posted tomorrow. Well, let me think about it. I'll look into it. Let me finish this live video and then I'm going to get back to you. I'm going to call you back. All right. All right, bye. All right. Well, sorry about that interruption because I got an emergency phone call from David, my co-reviewer. It's gotten harder to find Nicola Blogger, so it's nearly impossible. Uh, it, in five more years, it probably won't even be made. It's stupid because it's the one of the best beers they make, but naturally you can't get it. Most people can't get it. Well, you know. All right. Let's review this real fast. 
it's pricey. It's pricey. Now I can't sit here and say, oh yeah, it's easily worth $14.99 a four pack. I mean, he isn't going to do it. He won't do it. All right. Vanilla extract. Bottle on January 29th. Vanilla extract and maple syrup. Now, I mean, really, if we look at it in a frank way, you don't need a beer with vanilla extract and maple syrup. You do not need beer that tastes like Aunt Jemima pancake syrup. Okay. I mean, you know, we, we get that. On the other hand, it is pretty good. I mean, it's actually very good to me. My friend David, he didn't think it was that great because I mentioned that I didn't really taste any bourbon barrel. We were sitting out there by the fence. He said, oh, you're right. Well, he said, I'm docking it. So he dropped it to a B A minus. And I didn't think that was fair. But in a way it is because that's what they're touting, Barrel Age Series. And I'm drinking it right now. <clears throat> to me, it has a stout body. Now, he says porters and stouts taste different. I don't really notice that personally, but he might have a better fine-tuned ability to pick these things up. I am not picking up bourbon barrel, okay? I'm just not. I am not picking up bourbon. I'm sorry. Uh, if it's Heaven Hill, fine. We don't get Heaven Hill bourbon in Louisiana anyway, so I don't know what those things taste like. We only get Heaven Hill Kentucky blended whiskey, which is like 20% bourbon and 80% green spirits corn liquor. But, uh, you know, it's pretty good. But it's, uh, it's nothing like that. I'm sure it's nothing like the Heaven Hill straight bourbon, the green label or the black or the white bottle and bond. So it says a stout like heavy body to me. It's not thin. I, I, okay, not a heavy body, um, medium body. It's kind of velvety in the mouthfeel. You got the pancake syrup. I call it pancake syrup, maple syrup. And vanilla extract. So I, to me, it's like, that's why I say Aunt Jemima. But it's still, to me, an eight. I can't see scoring it lower than a 95. Now, you could nitpick it down. I wouldn't go lower than a 95. No way. Uh -uh. I'm going to tell you all what he called about $14.99 divided by four. $3.75 a bottle. I mean, is is it really worth $3.75 a bottle? I mean, obviously, probably not. Just like Dogfish had $120, IPA is not worth $8.99 a bottle, but we buy them because we want to try them. And then we can say, oh, it's great. I made a video. It's awesome. Look, y'all want to go watch my video and all of that. But, um, Let me do the let me do the comments. I'm scoring at a 96. I'm saying it's most excellent. I love it. I'm glad I bought it. I got one bottle left. I'm gonna use it for Stout Sunday. Stout Importer Sunday. John and Nelly's channel. Sand Beach. Well, they're not going to use vanilla beans. They're going to use vanilla extract because it's cheaper to use. Although, to give Budweiser, Anheuser-Busch credit, remember when they had the Anheuser-Busch uh, Jim Bean? They use actual vanilla beans. So people do all this histrionic you know, behavior, talking about, uh, oh, it's the evil empire. You know, they'll say, uh, Anheuser-Busch is the evil empire. And I say, where are you going right now? When they're telling me this, I was like, where are you going right now? I'm going to get some dinner. 
I said, where are you going to get your dinner? Oh, I was going to McDonald's. They got the McRib. I said, oh, you're going to McDonald's. But Anna has a Bush is the evil empire. Okay, what are you talking on? Oh, I'm on my Motorola phone. I said, oh, you're on your Motorola phone. So, you know, I don't I don't feed into all of that. So um, they use real vanilla beans. Now, the extract, though, you get a more intense vanilla flavor, actually, I think, maybe, perhaps. I'm not a scientist, but I play one on TV. Okay, let's see. Um, we got to do these comments. I got to get off of here because I got to tell you all what David called me about. Now, Kevin Johnson hasn't seen Michelob in Virginia. Jersey and Delaware. New Hampshire, Jeff Lyons at... Uh, well, he doesn't really do his channel anymore, but he uh, he said he can get Michelob easy in uh, New Hampshire, especially cans. <clears throat> Michelob light. I can get Michelob light if I go drive way east of here, go to Total Wine. But I'm not making a trek for Michelob light. Yeah, it's it. <laughs> And I got Michelob Golden Draft over there on the shelf. Remember Golden Draft? Never sold in Louisiana. I got Golden, you know, I tried the Golden Draft Light, Goldie Light. Well, these are actually natural flavorings. So these are not artificial flavors. These are natural. These are natural. It's actual vanilla and actual uh, maple syrup. Okay, so... Yeah, it's, I, I'm not. I, I'm not picking up any bourbon. I got to tell you all that. Oh, I love Michelob. I like Michelob Amberbach. I can still get Michelob Amberbach in Louisiana fairly easily, but I don't think Amberbach setting the world on fire. Oh yeah, Pilsner or Kell. Who doesn't like that? It's like they use the same barrels over and over for two weeks again, and then Metal Vats founders sold out no barrel notes. I don't know if it's about selling out. I don't know what it is. I, I just don't know if it's... They're not using... I don't know. I can't explain it. It's They're never that barrel eight. The Backwoods Bastard does have a strong bourbon barrel flavor, but the other ones don't really. Maybe DKML did. That was made as kind of a joke. But I thought DKML is one of the best beers they ever made. <clears throat> yeah, it's high. Yeah, it's a treat. Right, it's good as a treat. You wouldn't want to do it regularly. I'll try it if I see it. Revolution Brewing. Natty Daddy Lemonade gave it an A, and I currently have left hand brewing nitro milk stout. Two good, two good choices, macro baits. Natty Daddy Lemonade. There's a new Natty Daddy Watermelon. Still looking for it. Uh, nitro milk stout. Can't complain. I wish Schlitz was available around here. I can still get Schlitz right there, right there at Matherns and Food for Less. Yes, sir. TMRW is a beer for the Netherlands, right? I don't know what TMRW is. No, that's not a good matchup. Everything's okay. A-OK. -okay. I don't know if it's a GMO thing, but I'm not really into that because I never was really juiced in or fed into the health food the health food um, paradigm. Yeah, original. I knew what you were talking about. The original Michelob. Michelob. I've got enough bottles to back that up. I get Schlitz in Delaware. Oh, yeah, it's the best. 
if if you put me if you put a gun to my head and said what's your favorite american lager i guess i'd have to say schlitz <laughs> but i do like michelou oh you're welcome crown royal black to enjoy on my birthday so far i'm impressed i know it's ironic it's sspx catholic born i've heard the jokes Willow Ties Stout is great. Backwoods Bastard is awesome. Any beer from the Nether any beer from the Netherlands? Any beer? Okay. So this is it as we wrap up. David called me just now. As you know, I knew he was gonna call me. I said, watch you gonna call me during this live hangout. I just knew it. So he calls and says, Do you still what did he say? Do you still have the Waldo's 420 beer from Lagunitas that we reviewed. I said, well, of course I have it. <laughs> we recorded it. I said, what's the problem? He said, well, today is 420, April 20th. This will be the perfect day to do the, the posting of it. And I said, well, I don't, I don't think I'm going to do it because I don't, I don't generally like to do time specific videos like that. But he did do the video and uh, if he wants, what do y'all think? Should I post the Waldo's video on 420, April 20th? Founders Underground Mountain Brown as well. That's an awesome beer. That is an awesome beer. Okay, Pepita. Well, uh, get back to planet Earth now. Uh, you never know who you'll attract on the internet. But um, let's see something here. Um, What, what do y'all think? Should I post the 420, uh, the Waldos? I'm saying no, because I don't like to do date-specific videos. But other people say, yeah, yeah, do it. People like that. I, I don't think it's important. You say 420 means a lot. It's about the movement, man. It's also Hitler's birthday, so... Take it, look at it that way. Uh, <sighs> upload it. Yes, you should post a video. Post it, Ron. All right, let me look into my records and see my videos, and I'll. It, it'll take a good little while. That was a long video because we were, we were a little blah 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 about that beer. I won't say. I won't say what we said. You got to watch the video, but uh, it'll cause a controversy. But uh, the Panther Cub, I love the Panther Cub. I don't mind that I paid fourteen ninety nine. I mean, I mind that I paid fourteen ninety nine. But you know, it's an experience. So okay, I tried it. It's good. I got one bottle left for uh, John and Neely's uh, Stout Sunday. I'll drink it. I'll still give it a ninety five or ninety six on that hangout. That all go higher, but uh, okay, all right. You convince me. Let, let me look into my records and uh, we'll see what we can do with that. All right. So, Panther Cub is a winner. It's not a hundred. I still would rather drink the DKML. The DKML was really good, even though it was made as sort of a joke. It was the best joke founders ever cracked. Right. Well, you know, you know, uh, we'll talk off air. All right. Um, right. Catering to my viewership. 
Dark beers with a light body like Modelo Negra. Uh, yeah. Ziegenbach, Michelob Amberbach, uh, Scheinerbach, but it's bland. Yeah, I would say those are two good. Uh, uh, Dos Equis, Ambar, $16.99. No, I don't think I'd have bought it. I wouldn't have bought it. I wouldn't have bought it. Too high. And, and, and I wasn't exactly thrilled with $14.99, to tell you the truth. Tip Sam Adams Light. If I was looking to drink a light beer, and I would not be looking to do that, I would. <coughs> yes, I would pick Sam Adams Light over most of the other ones. That is true. There was a beer that used to make years ago called Jazz, Dixie Jazz Amber Light Beer, which was a lot better than your average light beer. And then, of course, they discontinued it because it was too good. All right. Um, so let me go check into those uh, records, and we'll see about posting uh, the Waldo's 420 on 420. But like I said, I don't like date-specific posts, but David does. And uh, well, we'll see. Well, I don't think milk stout is common, but I wouldn't say it's particularly rare. You can get um, left hand Bruins milk stout pretty commonly in some states. Hello, Vanessa. I, I don't know anything about that. All right, that's it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out.